How's it going everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's special event, Battle of the Belts 4, from last night, which was October 7th, 2022. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match 1, it was Pac versus Trent Beretta for the for the AEW All-Atlantic title. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Pac went over and retained the AEW All-Atlantic title with a shot in the head with a hammer. Now, after the match, Orange Cassidy came out and attacked Pac and beat the shit out of him. And, all the, re and the referees and the security guards had to get Orange Cassidy off of Pac and restrain him and everything, and Pac retreated on stage and went backstage while Trent Beretta was laid out and everything, and Orange Cassidy stood tall and everything. Chip was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match two, it was Jade Cargill versus Willow Nightingale for the TBS women's title. That was a great match, but the ending to it Jade Cargill went over and retained the TBS women's title with the Jaded. Now after the match, as Jade Cargill and the Baddies, which are Kiera Hogan and Layla which which are Kiera Hogan and Layla Gray, were celebrating Jade Cargill's victory, Vicky Guerrero came out with a microphone and said her signature line, Excuse! And as Vicky, as Vicky Guerrero said, "Excuse me," and had Jade Cargill and that, and had Jade Cargill and the baddies, which are Kira Hogan and Layla Gray, distracted. Nyla Rose came out and stole the TBS Women's Title and ran through the crowd with it. And the baddies, which are Kira Hogan and Layla Gray, chased after Nyla Rose and. And, well, Vicky Guerrero already went backstage, and Jade Cargill ended up going backstage as well. Chuck was cool. That was after the match, by the way. And match three, which was the main event, it was FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, versus the Gates of Agony, which are Toa Leona and Khan for the Ring of Honor tag team titles, that was a great match, but the ending to it, FTR went over and retained the Ring of Honor tag team titles cause Dax Harwood pinned Khan with a backslide. Now after the match, the Gates of Agony, which are Toa, Leona, and Khan, attacked FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, and beat the shit out of them, and... Brian Cage came out and joined in with Toa, Leona, and Khan and was beating the shit out of FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler. And as the Embassy, which are Brian Cage, Toa, Leona, and Khan, were beating the shit out, were beating the shit out of FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, Wardlow came out and attacked the Embassy, which are Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Khan, and was pretty much, pretty much, well, Wardlow pretty much came to the aid of FTR and was cleaning house, but the numbers game got too much, and Wardlow ended up getting his ass kicked, and then as Wardlow and FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, were getting their asses kicked by the Embassy, which are Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Khan, Samoa Joe came out and came to the aid of Wardlow and FTR, and as, and as Samoa Joe was beating the shit out of Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Khan of the Embassy, Wardlow and FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, joined in, and, War, and Samoa Joe, Wardlow, and FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, ended up beating the shit out of it. It ended up beating the shit out of the embassy, 
which are Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Khan, and the Embassy, which are Brian Cage, Toa Leona, Khan, and Prince Nana, retreated on stage, and and Samoa Joe, Wardlow, and FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, stood tall in the ring. But a stare down between both teams of w Samoa Joe, Wardlow, and FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, against the Embassy, which are Prince Nana, Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Khan, occurred and everything. That was cool. That was after the match, by the way, and that was match four. Wait, that was match three and the main event, by the way. Now, besides all that, wait, excuse me. Now, besides the matches, Tony Schiavone interviewed the Jericho Appreciation Society, which are Chris Jericho, Matt Menard, and Angelo Parker. Well, Tony Schiavone brought up to the Jericho Appreciation Society, which are Chris Jericho, Matt Menard, and Angelo Parker, that, um, uh, about Daniel Garcia leaving the Jericho Appreciation Society and everything, and Matt Menard was talking about how Daniel Garcia made a big mistake by leaving the Jericho Appreciation Society and, and, and everything, and then Angelo Parker talked about how they weren't mad that Daniel Garcia left the Jericho Appreciation Society, but Angelo Parker begged Daniel Garcia to come home to the Jericho Appreciation Society and everything, and then Chris Jericho was talking about how Matt Menard and Angelo Parker were like two dads to Daniel Garcia, and Chris Jericho himself was like a big brother to Daniel Garcia, and Chris Jericho wanted that was talking about how he wants he he wants nothing but the best for Daniel Garcia, like any big brother would, and everything. And then Chris Jericho was talking more shit, and Tony Schiavone was talking about how Chris Jericho cheated to beat Claudio Castagnoli and become that Ring of Honor tag team, the Ring of Honor World Champion. And everything, and Chris Jericho was taught was getting pissed, and Chris and Chris Jericho was getting pissed off at at Tony Schiavone for calling him a cheater and everything, and and Chris Jericho talked about on how on AEW Dynamite Wednesday night he's going to be uh, facing off against Brian Danielson and putting his Ring of Honor World Title on the line, and talked about how he wasn't going to bring the Demo God Chris Jericho, or the Wizard Chris Jericho, he's bringing the Lionheart Chris Jericho, and he talked about how he's going to kick Brian Danielson's ass and retain the Ring of Honor world title and everything. That was cool. Claudio Castagnoli cut a promo talking about how Chris Jericho cheated to, to beat him and take the Ring of Honor world title from him and talked about how after Wednesday, whoever wins between Chris Jericho or Brian Danielson for the Ring of Honor World title, Claudio Castagnoli was talking about how he'll be going up, he'll be going after either Chris Jericho or Brian Danielson for the Ring of Honor World title and everything. That was cool. Um, yeah. Lexi Nair interviewed Matt Hardy and The Firm, which are Stokely Hathaway and Ethan Page, and Lexi Nair was talking about how Matt Hardy requested to talk to The Firm, which are Stokely Hathaway and Ethan Page, without any physicality and everything, and, um, and, um, and Matt Hardy was talking about how he did request to talk to Stokely Hathaway and Ethan Page of the firm without any physicality and everything. And Matt Hardy was, was asking Stokely Hathaway and Ethan Page why, why they keep sticking their nose into his business and why they keep following him around like, like, a lost, like lost puppies and everything. And Ethan Page was saying, well, Matt, Stokely and I, we're no longer following you around like a lost puppy. 
but we're here to tell you right now. We're, like I said, we're not following you around anymore because what what's going on with private party? Roosh has it handled because Roosh is a way better boss than you ever than you ever will be. And Stokely Hathaway was talking about how Matt Hardy was contract tampering with private party and everything, and Matt Hardy was saying Matt Hardy was talking about how he was not contract tampering with private party and everything, and Stokely Hathaway was talking about how he had proof that Matt Hardy was was contract tampering and everything, and then um um and Stokely Hathaway had it on the iPad and Matt Hardy was talking about how he did was not contract tampering. He was uh, uh, talking to private party because they they mean a lot to him and everything. And Ethan Page and Stokely Hathaway were calling Matt Hardy a liar and everything. And and so Matt Hardy got into a fuss with the firm, which are Stokely Hathaway and Ethan Page and everything. Chip was cool. Lexi Nair interviewed Hook. Well, Lexi Nair brought up ab about Hook receiving an envelope from the Trust Busters, which are Ari Davari, Slim J, Parker Boudreaux, Sonny Kiss, and Jeeves K a, a, a week or so ago on AEW Rampage and everything. And Lexi Nair asked Hook what her... Uh, what what was in the envelope and everything, and Hook and and Hook did didn't open up the envelope. Hook ended up ripping up the envelope and throwing it on the ground. And Lexi Nair was asking Hook what he was doing, and Hook just walked off. And Lexi Nair was looking on and everything. Chip was cool. And yeah, and Tony Stor excuse me. And Hikaru Shida and Tony Storm cut a promo, and Tony Storm was talking about how the match between her and her and Hikaru Shida against Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter was finally happening after Britt Baker took the easy way out and injured Hikaru Shida and everything, and then Hikaru Shida was talking about how she's finally going to be getting revenge on Britt Baker and finally getting the team with Tony Storm against Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter and everything. Chip was cool. Now, besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. Chris Jericho done guest commentary along with Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur during the match between Pac versus Trent Beretta for the for the AEW All Atlantic title, Chris Jericho done awesome on guest commentary, and Ricky Starks done guest commentary along with Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur during the matches of Jade Cargill versus Willow Nightingale for the TBS Women's title and the match between FTR versus the Gates of Agony for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. Ricky Starks done awesome on guest commentary. The referees for the event were Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Pac versus Trent Beretta for the for the AEW All Atlantic title. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Jade Cargill versus Willow Nightingale for the TBS women's title. And Paul Turner refereed the match between FTR versus the Gates of Agony for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. All the referees done awesome as usual. And the match card that's been announced for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite Wednesday night. It's going to be Pac versus Orange Cassidy for the AEW All-Atlantic title. Chris Jericho 
versus Brian Danielson for the Ring of Honor World Title. Billy Gunn versus Swerve Strickland. Jungle Boy versus Luchasaurus. And Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter versus Tony Storm and Hikaru Shida. So the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite from for Wednesday night looks like it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's special event, Battle of the Belts 4, from last night, which was October 7th, 2022. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish, and with that being said... My name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.